Hey gang, I know what you're thinking. What's with the slint? Uh, I fell a couple months ago and tore a bunch of tendons and had to go in for some surgery. Things are on the mend, but I have to wear this sling for another couple weeks. Um, makes it a little bit hard to play guitar. Uh, impossible. Uh, but I am able to do a couple of tweaks on some things. So I have a project that fell into my lap. My friend Horacio bought this repurposed or up-purposed guitar. Uh, fellow he got it from takes a bunch of old guitars and like makes them into amalgamations that work and look cool. So he does a lot with interesting paint jobs and things of that nature. Um, what's up with this guitar? So, sounds fine. Three problems. One is, this, en this end of the pickup is dead on the neck pickup. So I can hear five of the strings nicely. This one not so much. I suspect a missing pull piece in this pickup. Secondly, if I switch over to the bridge pickup, I get nothing. So this pickup is seemingly dead. The third problem is turn the volume all the way up, sound goes away. Nothing there. You get a little a little in the mid switch position, which I don't completely understand, but I suspect there's a lot of strange things happening with the wiring, so we're going to take a look at that. So one of the first things I did to diagnose what's going on with the wiring is to pull off the pickup cover. In this case, it comes off with two screws. You'd think it would come off with three, but this, <laughs> the head of the screw is just glued onto here. So that's interesting. Um, first thing I spot in here that looks a little bit sketchy is right here I see electrical tape wrapped around what should be a solder joint but we want to make sure that that <coughs> is a good solder joint and furthermore uh, something like this I really need to pull up a diagram to remember what this wiring should look like for a case like this with a single volume control, single tone control on two pickups with a switch selector in between. Now I think both pickups come in through this opening up here. And then this is the ground wire going to the bridge. I want to share with you what I'm seeing when I, for diagnosing this. I've got my multimeter connected to the output jack of the guitar and in the up position, the position where the neck pickup seemed to work okay, I see 7.79 kilo ohms, so that's 7,800 ohms basically, which is about right for a pickup. When I go to the all the way down position, which should be the bridge pickup, I see one roughly 1 1.7 kilo ohms. And when I go in between, it looks like I get the two of those paralleled together, which would be the right switching configuration. So it's starting to look like there might just be a bad pickup in the neck position. I'm not certain of that yet, but that would certainly make sense based on the observations. When I say a bad pickup, it looks like maybe the windings are shorted together or something like that. But we'll have to dive into this wiring a little bit more and find out. So the white and green wires were soldered together. Okay, the parts always go into a box. I got the switch uh, nut off. Believe it or not, it took a 15 millimeter. Well, the deep well helps me get past this. Uh, so that's loose. So another thing about this uh, control when we remove it, the 7 sixteenths deep well fits it perfectly. Remember we had to use a 9 a 5 eighths or something to get this control out the three-way switch. So I've got a bunch of other nuts that I can look at. 
Uh, remaining issues, I've got the pull piece on this pickup I have to look at. We've got the wiring. We think we're getting that straightened out on the bridge pickup. And we're removing this because it, when you turn it to full blast, it cuts out. So we're putting in a 500k pot off the shelf in place of that one. A lot of times when we have a soldering operation that we need to do where we kind of have to pull the components out over the body of the guitar, we want to put down something to safeguard the body of the guitar. In this case I'm using uh, two thicknesses of a tear cloth washcloth and that should do the trick. Any solder that dribbles off should get on that. Working on mysteries here. So it turns out when I combined the white and the red wires uh, I wasn't getting output. Um, that's because they're from the same coil. So it turns out the configuration is the red and the white come from one coil the green and the black come from the other coil. What was happening before with the white and the green combined they were canceling each other out so I just did a test with the trusty oscilloscope. So can you still see the output? Yeah, kinda. It might be hard to see. But I get pretty good output and I get the right resistance across the black and the white when I couple the green and the red together. So we should have a viable pickup in the bridge position now. We're going to run with that. Um, still have to figure out what's going on with the one pole piece or whatever on the bridge pickup, on the uh, neck pickup. So look, I did all that uh, diagnosing of what's going on with these colors and which ones actually represent the two separate coils of the humbucker. And made a little sketch saying that uh, I need to have green to go to red and just those two just tie off together and then signal is going to come out on white and black. One's ground, the other one's signal. So I found this great reference uh, from Mad Hatter Guitar Products. Dot com and um, I grabbed a printout of all the different color combinations. It's very helpful. So they don't have every manufacturer, but the key is who makes pickups with green and red tied together. And as you scan down, you get all the way through to here, and you see Lindy Fralin. Lindy Fralin uses the white as hot green and red tied together and then black and shield or ground. And down at the very bottom of the list, TV Jones also uses the same color scheme. So there's a good chance these are the uh, bridge pickup on this guitar is a Lindy Fralin or a TV Jones I suppose. Uh, and that confirms that I want to tie green to red and use white for my signal, black for my ground, and uh, what I'm going to show you next is how to pull the pickup wires out for the other pickup because I need to check on the pull piece. And I'm going to show you how to do that in a way that you can like get them fishing back through. Okay, step one to get the neck pickup pulled out so I can check out the, whether it's missing a pole piece or whatever, is I need to get the white lead from that pickup desoldered from the selector switch. These are the two wires that are going to get pulled through when I pull the pickup out. You want it to still stay attached. Now provided that slip knot will fit through the opening, we're in business.
going to splice on some nice shielded coax and let that serve as the neck pickup wiring. And I have to be able to get this down through the channel to the uh, control cavity. So I was trying to fish the orange wire back up through here and it kept getting stuck in here so I had to take out the other pickup in order to uh, get it through and in fact what I can probably do now is once I get the uh, repair coax soldered on I'll probably be, probably be able to just send it this way. So the way the Les Paul style um, routing goes um, both wires for pickups come up into the bridge pickup cavity and then the wire for the neck pickup goes up through this little tunnel. Uh, so you can really just sort of send it down manually like this. Alright, so what remains is to tin these wires and solder them to what's coming out here. So although there was no solder on the black lead, it was just taped in, uh, there was solder on the, the hot lead, the white wire. So that's good. Um, we'll take what we can get. So I think I might try this old trick again. I got a length of old uh, guitar cable. I want the braid to go over the solder joint and act as the shield. So I slid it, cut it with wire strippers here. And if I can just get this last end separated. So I'll have the, uh, the braid with innards and if I cut just the braid, if I'm careful, I should be able to walk it off of there and be able to cover up the uh, solder joint connecting to the shield and running the hot lead through the center so I uh, don't lose any shielding. The goal here is to cut through just the braid and none of the inner pieces. Okay, looks like it's detached. One stubborn little piece there. So when you push braid in on itself, it expands. And that's the secret to walking it off the inner conductor. up with the braid shield over the connected air conductor to fresh coax goes through the neck pickup tunnel to the bridge pickup and then it'll go down into the cavity control cavity and we don't know yet but that might take care of the uh, problem here with that one and then we still have the other pickup which needs to clean it up. I don't know if you can see that green schmutz there, but it's not too appealing. Um, 
It could be a sponge rubber or it could be a copper compound. Most copper compounds are green. So that could be some uh, serious uh, corrosion of some copper. Not sure what it is yet. Anyway, uh, clean it up and make sure there's no damage. And then these are the four color, the four conductors with the colors that don't agree with standard Gibson color code. Looks like this is what we have. That's hard to see in this lighting. I decided to go ahead and test just the neck pickup as I've reinstalled it here uh, to see if soldering the connection, uh, patching in that piece of coax and actually soldering the connections would make the difference. The symptom before was that you basically had pickup output on five of the six strings but not on the, s on the high E string, not on the first string, uh, and that seems to be taken care of. So I'm very encouraged by that. Um, it's kind of a half fix. There are three things. I still have to do the volume control and then this pickup. But now having figured out the split coil windings and how they were kind of put like this instead of like this, that should be golden too. So I should be able to proceed, button this up, and have it sound good. My approach to get the broken screw out of this spot uh, started with taking a small drill bit, 50 thousandths in diameter, a sixteenth, something like that, <coughs> and dr drilling a constellation of uh, holes around the broken off screw. Uh, my plan is next to take a small chisel and excavate just enough close into the remaining body of the screw to give myself a chance to get a purchase with a pair of pliers on it. Maybe a uh, vice grip, something like that. I've taken a lot of meat out of this area. that we can get a, a hold of this. Then then I'll do like a quarter inch hole or something that uh, will fit 
piece of dowel material. I'll cut the dowel material and we'll use that. We'll bond that in and let that be the receptacle for the screw. That part of it's done. So it looks like a half inch might actually work. That looks like a quarter inch brad point drill. That's 250. Check the dowel first. This dowel is 5 sixteenths. I have to find the right one first. I think I see it. It looks to be this one. That measure is about 250. So if I can go undersize, that would be nice. I think I'll start with the quarter inch bread point. and then go a 64th under. Hmm, that actually feels like it might be a good force fit. That's the depth of the hole, and I can transfer that to the dowel. <coughs> I'll cut this to length. Okay, so I cleaned the flux off of this dental instrument. The goal is to now put a nice Coating of tight bond in the bottom and the sides of the cylinder shape of the dowel. And press that in, tap it in. So I found a matching set of uh, cool screws and I need to drill a new hole here for the third one. I think this is a prick punch and I think that's plenty to give me a start for this drill bit. This is just over 63 thousandths. Okay, so now we've got a cover that actually screws on, and we've got pickups that actually work. We need to sound check it. Let's see how these repairs panned out on this guitar. <laughs> Sweet.
switch needs to be sprayed. pickup is uh, the bridge pickups are working great and let's see the first string on the neck pickup working beautiful uh, blend the two together oh sorry <laughs> here we go that's great. And then blend the two together. <laughs> 